Hi all, in this lecture we will be creating matcher and merge policies for our customer fuzzy entity. So I am in Simaki XGM and if I expand the entity section in model design, I will double click customer entity. Now sometimes we do not see matcher section in this view. So another way of creating a matcher would be if we expand customer entity, here we can see matcher. So we will right click matcher. And click on define SEMQL matcher. So we'll give it a name customer matcher. Click finish. So now in this view, we can see that we can create multiple match rules. Then we have got grouping and scoring. We can define the merge policy thresholds, auto confirm policy, etc. We scroll up, let's create our first match rule. I click on add match rule. Let's give it a name of name email phone rule. Now you can provide documentation and description. This section of match on child records will be valid in case. You will have your child entities to customer as well. So in our case, we have got email, phone, address, and customer name all in a single entity. But let's say if you have your first name, last name in your customer entity and your email and mobile in, in a separate entity, which would be a child of customer. In that case, this checkbox should be checked because you would only want to match your customer when their email and phone will also be mashed from the source records. So that's where you will click this checkbox and then you will be presented with your child records entities or attributes. But here we do not have any child of customer. That's why we are not presented with any options. So I click cancel and uncheck this. Scrolling down here, we have got binning expression. This is where we create the subsets of data so that we can easily match within a certain subset rather than matching every record against every other record. But for our demo, we won't be using this binning expressions. But you can simply put cities, countries, or any geography, etc. Now, in the last section, we have got matching, which is which will be creating match condition and giving it a threshold. So let's create a match condition here. So here we can see that we have got only record one and two. So here, if we expand record one, we'll see all the attributes. So Simaki matches only two records at a single point of time. So that's why we have only got record one and record two option. So now to create this rule, we will be using the out of the box functions here. So if you see, if you click on all, we have got so many functions available. Now, if you only want to see specific matching functions, we have got this folder as well or this section. If I expand this matching, we have got different algorithms which you can simply use to create the fuzzy matching rules. So if we click this, we have got a decent description. If we click this, again, you can read through the description to know which algorithm suits best for this rule. So we'll start with first name. So for now, I will be using for first name the normalize, sem normalize function. So if we see this, this actually takes the spaces and extra characters out of your name. So if someone is typing any name in the source system, they can easily put in uh, spaces or non-alphanumeric characters by a mistake. So before matching, we should actually uh, take those characters out so that they can be accurately matched. So let's click sem normalize and we'll add first name here as a parameter. So if I delete this and add first name equals to sem normalize. Record two dot first name. So I'll remove this. So what this is saying is this is matching the first name from two records after removing the special characters or spaces, etc. 
now we'll type and because we just cannot rely on first name we'll repeat this for last name as well so i'll click sim normalize or i'll take it to the next line sim normalize record one dot first not, not first name record one dot last name basically equals to sim normalize move the string now we have got two conditions uh, with and clause that the first name and last name should be exactly same for this rule now we'll type and again now we'll add mobile and email so i put a parenthesis and then i will enter record one dot mobile equals to record two dot mobile or record one dot email equals to record two dot email so now this end to end rule is saying that your first name and last name between two records should be exactly same and if they have either the mobile or email matching then yes we can consider this uh, a successful matching criteria for two records so there are no errors because we are not seeing any so if i click this display passing messages we are not getting any error messages or warnings so this rule is fine syntactically and i'll click okay now this is our exact rule so that's why i have given the match score of 100 here i'm not changing it let's save this rule so this will be our first exact match rule now if i have to come back i'll click customer and again we are going to click sim ql matcher now we can see that we have got our first rule with a match score of 100 now if these things doesn't match then we have to create a fuzzy rule as well so let's create a fuzzy rule now so add match rule let's give it a name name address rule so now we'll use name and address attributes to define this rule again all the basic settings would stay the same and in the match condition we'll click on edit expression and then we'll use the same thing that we have used for name let's find the function that we want to use for this rule so in matching i click on sim edit distance similarity and if you can see we it takes two parameters which would be parameter or attributes from record one and record two so if i double click this and delete string one and string two and select first name from record one and then i will select first name from record two as well so taking this extra comma out it should be here so basically this algorithm will be checking the first name and last name and finding the similarities and it should be greater than 80 the similarity that it finds between two records we'll click we'll type and and then move to the second condition and then i'll use the same function again and now it would be for last name for record one then i'll just copy and paste this for simplicity and change record one to record two now this should be 
greater than 80 as well. I will add and clause and then again same edit distance similarity and now we'll add the address line one for record one and then for record two as well. This should be greater than 80 and let's add postcode for record one and this is for record two we'll give it 80 as well now please remember the the figures that you give here won't be accurate the very first time you have to play around with the rules so you will have to run your data against these rules if you see that it's over matching or under matching you have to tweak the rules as well based on the data that you are running through these rules for now we'll keep this and click ok and here now it cannot be 800% match score I'll give it 80 we'll save this we go back to SEMQL matcher now we have got two rules so now again as I said before you cannot rely on these rules to be accurate the very first time you have to play around you have to run multiple iterations uh, or multiple runs of the data to define which figure or math score or whether these attributes are absolutely right to, to be defined in your matching rules and you can change it after your multiple runs and you see that your data is not right you can change it anytime you want so scrolling down use transitive match score this is basically talking about let's say if we have got three records record one two and three record one matches with record two record two matches with record three so by default record one matches with record three again we won't be using this but you can explore this a lot more in the simaki xcm documentation multi iteration grouping is also like if you've got three records record one matches with record three um, and record two matches with record three with, with highest scores then obviously um, there will be a groupings of record one to three and record two to three and then you can you can present those two groups with uh, whether they have to be matched or not or merged or not uh, to the data steward so this involves manual intervention so again you can read more in Simaki XGM documentation we won't be using this here so I'll uncheck that and for merge policy what I'll do is I'll give figures here again you can change these whenever you want it would depend on your specific needs so 80, 80 90 90 now to confirm golden records I'll give it 80 and auto confirm singletons if I check this so let's say there are few records which are only coming from one source system so they by default itself becomes master records so do you want to mark them with a confirm status or not if I check this they will be confirmed by default so now we have got two match rules and we have defined our merge policies as well so now we'll save this so now we have got our matcher and merge policies uh, in the next lecture we will be creating the survivorship rules thank you